Hi everybody, hi dear, the Yorkshire Crafter, how are you doing? I'm doing well, apart from the heat, which, well no, I'm, I am always the first person to come complain about it, because we all know I don't like the heat, so, yeah. But I've got the fan on behind me, till the battery, uh, till the charge runs out. Um, got Rosie over here, she's half in a bed and half on the table, bless her. It's warm in it, kid, I know. Um, so I think I'm just going to crack straight on. It's really warm. If you guys can do me a favour and give me a thumbs up and a, a share. If you're new, subscribe. That would be amazing. Thank you. Um, don't forget, we have a Facebook group, Heidi the Ox Crafter. Um, loads and loads of fun. Just two rules. No selling. Don't want that hassle. And no promoting anybody else. Um, there's reasons for it, but I'm not going into it. Just no promoting anybody else. And it's working fine. And the group's growing like crazy. So, yeah, come in and have a look. And loads and loads of giveaways. Loads. And while we're saying that, um, you guys asked me to contact a few different people for giveaways. So I got in contact with Tracy Evans, who you all said. And received a giveaway yesterday off her. So that's another one. Um, we got a giveaway today from Cheshire Crafts, so have a look at their store online. So I haven't looked on their store online yet, but I plan on doing so today. I've got a nice giveaway off them. Um, both them and Tracy will both be brought down into two giveaways because we've got that much of them, so that's amazing. Still waiting to hear from some others. Um, don't think we're going to. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. We're not here for that, but it helps. So, today, right. I just put one of these in tip giveaways as well. I know it doesn't seem a lot, but they're not. I can't remember how much they were. I should have. I've just took them out of packet. I should have brought the seat up with me. Um, they're very useful, and I'm using them today. Plus, you could have used them on serviettes that we just did um, a few weeks ago. Plus, you can use them on something else that's coming up. Also, the same as these. So, I use both. The reason I've used both today was because I were out. I've run out of that one altogether. That's it, empty. So, I ordered this last night and it's come today. This was from Bumbleberries. And I ordered this one from Amazon. This was five in a pack. The only one I could find... Um, without shipping from America, has 25 in a pack, which I ordered off Amazon. So that'll do me for a long time. So I think there's a... Oh, there is a, oh, there's a sheet left in that one. Oh, I nearly binned it. Oh, that's all right then. But that one's empty. I'll keep the packaging because I'll use it for shaker cards. Don't throw, don't throw much away here. Right, so what you want today... You can use glue, by the way. You don't have to use these. So I'm using... That's already done. I've wrote on it and all to cut this side. Because yesterday I kept... Um, I was using scrap paper. And I was still cutting the wrong side. So you could see the scrap on the, other, on the other side. I couldn't believe what I was doing. So like this. I was putting the sticky here. And then I was having to cut that side. So... I need to put the sticky there so I can cut that side. You'll get me. Right. So I've chose to do... Um, I've got, oh, I had a great big hair on it. <laughs> uh, this is old. I got this second hand off eBay, I think. And I've been looking for one. You know, just as a giveaway, but I can't find one. Ideally, if you have a die like this, I've left them out. And it's got texture on this works better I mean, it doesn't matter but it does work better and we have used some of these little that's got no texture but it fills up the little gaps and the little leaves so these two here i sold some spellbinders stuff and these dies must have fallen out when i would sent the packages off so if you bought off me um spellbinders and you were missing a couple of dies i've got them and i have no idea who it was that bought them so they are here contact me 
Right, so I also done, I've done the foliage fillers. I've used that, them three. Um, I was just showing you these. I got these out to see what we could do. These are perfect, but it depends how big a space you fill in. So they are actually perfect for it, even though they're not um, textured in the, net, in the middle like the leaf there. They still work perfect. But it took a lot of filling up like that. You'll see what I mean when I show you what I'm doing. I've never used these. Shame, isn't it? And this one. And do you know what? This dye here. I've had this kicking about for ages and I couldn't remember what it was for. I'm presuming it's for this. Because. Although it doesn't. Oh yeah, it does look. Show it there. Well, do you know what I bought? So these are old. I must have bought, bought it all at the same time. Yeah, it's not even open. Yet. Yeah. Get one out. It's um, a shaker. So when you cut it down, I mean that does it fits down it when you've um, cut the piece out. But yeah, it's a shaker. Um, thing so you can have your flowers going in it but I need to then work on making the box envelope because it's quite but I love it I thought it was pretty good now this is it's got to be two or three year old 2020 and I bought this when it came out so it's four year old there you go never used it and it's four year old some stuff I just can't part with like, I didn't think I'd ever use these because I forgot what they were for. And I was looking for some the other day and came across them again and I thought, ooh. So I'll have to do something with that. Right, so let's crack on with the ones that we are using. What if I just took that out of? Oh, one of them. So what we're going to do... Oh, I also, these are unbranded. So, I'll have got these off um, Amazon. I got another one off Amazon today. I'm going to do something with that this week. We do what we do. Sometimes we get hated for it. Sometimes we don't. So, what I'm going to do, this is, I'm doing it purely to stop me from having to glue everything. And I've prepped a load anyway. Oh, yeah, this is what I'm showing you. This is unbranded. Um, and it's cut that out. So I want all the hearts out of it. And it's got double-sided sticky on the other side. I kept that one because it's got tiny hearts in. I might use them yet. I don't know. So we'll see. See how far we get. I prepped a load of it. I'm just doing this bit to show you what I did. So Heidi, remember, stick is going on the bottom. So I'm just going to cut it down there. That'll go back in the packet. I'll put it in now before my eyes think it's just cardstock and chuck it and scrap. <laughs> right. Still, I'd see I turned it over, I was still going to do it. When you found your corner, there we go. So, I never even said it's double sided adhesive. I'm going to stick it at the top here. There we go. That's done. I don't have to write on this one to cut top because you can see through at the bottom anyway. Like I say, I've already got one prep there. So what we're going to do... 
I'll only do a couple because I've got a load done and then if we need some more we can do them can't we I'm just going to cut a couple of flowers this is good if you're layering die cuts as well This is the only thing I'm really struggling with, you know, with my wrist, is the machines. I'm right-handed, but for some reason I have to turn my machines with my left hand. I don't know what that's about. So for now, we're just going to leave them on the doodah. And I'm just going to do an extra leaf. So I'll put them to the side. If you're not going to use it all, put a mark on it and put it in with your adhesives. Just remember to put on it which side to cut because I can't tell the difference, me. Oh, I thought I'd done it wrong then. Yeah, like I said, you can use it on the serviettes that we've just done. That didn't cut very well. Oh, it did. Um, and you can use it on something else that's coming up soon and all. I'm going to put these away because I think we've got enough of these done. There's bigger ones and all. It's up to you what size you want to do. You could just put a few of these on it. In fact, it would have been a heck of a lot quicker. And I'll just move these because these are stuck on board behind me. I don't know. I mean, a lot of you will know what the art bins are. The little white bins. But they open like a suitcase and they've got magnetic sheets and you get five in a box. Well, I have them um, stuck to my wall. You can't take them off. And any dyes I use a lot or don't know where they belong or unbranded sometimes that's where I put them I put them on them posts um magnets I've got three six nine twelve fifteen of them up on wall right so we've done that so the first card we're gonna make we're gonna use the whole um base we're just gonna use the base to do these and what we're gonna do all the white die cuts. We'll do the flower one first. I've only practiced this one. I don't know what I'm doing with others with leaves are out. I have an idea in my head, but there's no to say it's going to work. So you're pulling the sticky off the back. Once you've got one piece up, you're fine. And you're literally just going to stick them. Now then. Yeah, let's just stick them. Anyway, there, they come off easy enough. This is just to save me from gluing them. That's the only reason that I went this way. And I did one and I thought, yeah, I'll do it like that. But I'm not having to mess about with glue. So I've got all sorts in here. I've been looking for that. Good job I've got two. So what they've either got the adhesive one we've just showing you or the stick it one and we're using both so much easier see I even say for the little bits a couple of arts tell you <laughs> I must come across really tight come on where's my big oh did I not cut them out I thought I'd cut them out I must have done see another scrap piece Sometimes they have all feathery bits off. That's just from your die cutting. Just take them off first if you fancy it. Sorry if the kids outside are disturbing you, but I can't shut my window. I don't know why I'm not using my pokey tool anyway. I'm going to 
put all rubbish in there and then I don't don't lose it all right we'll come down here somewhere I'm purposely going off edge I don't want it to be in like a, a frame or out um let's go with a couple of these leaves I like it when it does that where it, it's left the sticky on the Uh, on the cut out. I, I forgot what I was saying then. I, I went miles away then. I thought I'd cut loads of flower. Well, I thought I'd cut enough of them out, should I say. Use your pokey tool. We'll go. In there. I thought I'd cut them all out, see. Now I can't see what I'm doing. Lie down, Rosa. You can't climb on the table. Lie down, baby. Oh, I just went, um... I emailed one at parcel companies, not parcel companies, bullet shops so there, I wait for something coming from. And um, long story short, they said it had been marked as delivered like eight, eight or nine minutes later. So I went downstairs to check, to check outside because I was, I was already there when the delivery came. Well, Rosie wanted to follow me. She went absolutely flying down the stairs. Oh, she did frighten me. My dogs are crazy. See, this looks like now, doesn't it? But I absolutely love the finished um, card. Love it. Um, flower. Give me a flower. Leaves, leaves, little flowers. I'll go. Um, shall we? Oh, I don't know where to put it. This is my worst bit. So all of them were using white die cuts. It's only this one, I think, that's going to be on... You know a full base. Right, let's see. And get a leaf up there, can't we? Oh yeah, that fits lovely. Put that there. I'll shut that otherwise it'll stick down. Um let's stick a couple of these little ones in yes <laughs> you can go there I want them to come out like hey oh no <laughs> so I want to come out without the backs on <laughs> If there's anybody else you want to see a giveaway from, give me a nod. Or a company I've not heard of, give me a nod and I'll... Because you guys know so many companies. That's the joys of being going so long, isn't it? I've not been going that long. Right, where else? We'll have a few of these little leaves. Where have they gone? Are you going to come out? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. It's starting to look a bit crowded, but that's what I want. 
gonna put you up there. Um, I just want some in this bottom corner. Let's go with. We're already ready. It was meant to be. Right. Um, yeah. Oh, I won't put any more on. We're getting the idea, aren't we? So I'm just going to put that to the side a minute. So the next one. I don't know if this bit's going to work, but what I planned for a second. No idea. So what I'm going to do is, well, might as well do the heart one because they're all stuck in there. I don't even know if there's enough hearts. Mm, possibly not. Oh, it would have been ideal if it had... Uh, Again, I'm not putting them anywhere particular. Come on, come on, you're on, yay. I suppose we're technically just sort of doing that, aren't we, on this one? Again, I want some to come off the edge. It just looks so much better <clears throat> if it's not just containing there. Where, you know, it's coming off the edge. It just, I can't explain what it, what I mean. I know what I mean. Maybe I should have prepped this bit before. It's not taking that long. Next bit's easy. That's why I did all the quitting first. So that you won't have to sit through all that. But I like it when you're here with me. See, I'm not even looking at what position they're in or I'm just sticking them can you see why I didn't use glue it'd take forever plus I want them to be dry I don't have to wait for it to dry now I like it when you don't have to think about where you're putting out. It's good. It might be nice if we'd have put some in between the hearts you know not just hearts what would you put in between them yeah I don't actually know what I'd put this would be nice for Valentine's or just because why not Yeah. 
We'll go in that. Well, I thought I was going to struggle to fill it. Who would have thought? That's a smaller piece of card and yet don't realise how much it's squashed together, do you? So that's this one more or less done. Put some smaller ones in. So much quicker than using glue. I've got that many things buzzing around in my head. Um, I've wrote a couple of stuff down. Not that I'll know what it means when it comes to it, but I've got that much going around in my head. I thought, if I do use glue, by the time I get this video done, I'll, everything will have disappeared out of my head. Even when I write ideas down, I'll go back to it and I'll be like, what did that mean? So I do try and draw a little sketch sometimes. And sometimes I don't even know what that means. Um, I think it looks pretty full, doesn't it? I can't even see any more on there. I mean, you could take that off now and use that for something else. That would be amazing. Pardon me, I'm going to leave that on, I'm going to use that. Oh, I've got an idea for that one, that's okay. I did have a couple of loose hearts that I cut out. thought they might come in handy. That was my intention to cut a load of loose hearts and I didn't realise I had that die till I was looking for some. I thought, perfect. Right, I think we are there. I think that's that. And then the leaf one. A couple more hearts there if I need any. See, I cut some of these out. And I wasn't sure, but yeah, they'll work because I, I tried it on just a scrap, but it's very um, time consuming, so I didn't go with them. I'm just moving some of these up here. Let me get rid of this. And then the, all the keepy bits can go in here, can't they? That away, and they can go away. Yay, I love it when we get a bit more room. So these should be dead easy because they're quite chunky. If I can get them out of here in one piece. Like I say, I haven't tried these, so who knows what they're going to turn out like. Oh my, I can't even, there it is. If you get any, you know, your, your little wispy ears, just get your tool and go upside of it. There you go, it takes it off.
if you have if you if you like that and you like to sit down and just die cut do some of these and then when you come to doing it you've got it all haven't you it's just there I have absolutely no idea what's going to happen with this because I don't if we go one there I'm going to go one up here oh let's just try it And then I should have moved that one a bit further down, but they don't pick back up once you've got them down, they're down. I'm being a bit rough. I think maybe I should be a bit more careful. Mm, don't rip. There we go. What's for tea, guys? Gosh, you know, we haven't had to go for Toby this week. So it's been... Um, normally, we'll, we'll have a takeaway one day during the week when we've got to go for him. Depending on what we've got to do and um, who can be bothered to cook and stuff like that, we'll either go chippy, but I've got so, so fed up with it. I don't like the fish and chips where... Um, Andy goes to get them. Not his fault. Um, and sometimes we'll go to a place called Picking Chicken, which is very nice. But we haven't, because we haven't been going out to get him. And you know what? We've had some lovely, lovely meals. Just plain ones. Like um, yesterday we had, Andy made a curry. And we had some tiny little, some like baby numbers with it. It was lovely. Um, day before we had a salad oh it was nice to have a salad not for any diet reasons or anything just to have a salad it was lovely and what did we have the day before we had a chicken dinner um, I can't even remember what we've had but they've been really nice it's been nice not to have a takeaway. Oh, I wanted some more of them leaves. Oh, there's a couple here. So today is um, baked potato. What do you have on yours? You see, when I have a salad, I have um, tuna and mayonnaise salad. If I have a baked potato, Andy always, always says to me, um, do you want one to the tuna or two? Because they're only small. Um, I say, I don't want any. There's something about I can't eat tuna when it's been on top of something warm. I just don't like it. I want to do another one of these just for there. I know, let's do that. Let me... Cook that and see if it's long enough to go in there. May I get away with that? That looks okay. That looks all right, doesn't it? So, on all of them, even though these ones are going to be panels, everything needs cutting off on everything. I love this bit. This bit's so satisfying. because I just love that look when you turn it over. There's going to be a lot of gap on this one, but it's okay. I could put some of these small leaves in, but I don't know if they'll spoil the look. Yeah, I'm not going to. Oh, look. Is that one of them? It is one of them. 
but it's only part of one, I've nowhere to put it. Unless I go there. Yeah, I'm going to put it on. I'm wasting it. Yeah, I forgot what I was just saying then. So let me know what you're having on your salad. I think I asked this before and I got some very strange replies. That'll do. Sorted. Sorted. I mean, ideally, save them bits, put them in with your, your big sheets, because you never know when you're going to want to use them. So that's that one. Same with this. Time's a ticking, isn't it? It's worth the wait, I promise you. I bet you've got loads of white die cuts at home in your craft rooms. I mean, you don't even have to separate your arts from your leaves and stuff. Just mix them up. That'll look really good. There we go. And the last one. Now, because that's such a big bit, I'm going to see if it'll fit in anywhere. Like there. And I think that one... We'll go in there. Like to fill a little gap. Now then, card-wise, I've actually used Strathmore Bristol Smooth on the base and on the die cuts because I'm going to chuck water at it. I didn't want to use full-on watercolour card, and this holds up so good to water plus it's a strong base so that's what I did and go we're all done and seeing as I know what I'm doing with first one I'll get it done straight away we're not doing any stamping today Just gonna take this. It's just a piece of masking sheet from um what's the company called? Pink Frog. Now on this one I'm gonna do a rainbow using um ultra new dyings. These are my brushes from me, Spinny. I love them, I absolutely love them. Right. Just grab a piece of this. I just like to keep my table. Um, Dry if you like. Right, let's do it. Bit of red. Not organised, am I? Just not organised. 
I was going to get some of these for the giveaway. What do you think, guys? I love these, me. These are waffle flower ink, ink mats. Don't half keep it still. Um, all you're doing is colouring your um, die cuts. But you're colouring them while they're down. This is why it's better if you've got texture on it. Not gonna lie, this is not my favourite red, but I thought I was gonna swap to this dress, but I'm using all the rest of them as um alternate, so I thought I'd stick with it. Orange. Yellow. I think this will always be my yellow one for Alton New. I don't know. How it, I mean, if I look back at my videos, it'll tell me how it came about me using this one, but I don't know. It came free with some, probably with inks. I don't know. Or did it come with a, I think it came with a die. A full set, you know what I mean? Love that. Green. You use any colours you want to use. I'm just, I fancied a rainbow. And I know lots of people like rainbows. Plus when I take my photo for the thumbnail on YouTube, they look better. I've got a video coming up soon and you can hardly see the picture and it's a shame because it won't do it justice. Now on the practice, I did blue, but I weren't keen. So I'm going with Lagoon. Oh, it's ever so juicy and all. Look at the ink in that. I don't know why some are and some aren't. It's odd. Not complaining. Not at all. That different for your die cuts. Where have I just put my lid for them? Can't see for looking. And whack a bit of purple on. Do you just love it already? I do. I'll leave the brushes there because I, don't, I have no idea what colours are coming with next ones. So I'll just push them a bit back. So. I'm going to quickly. Because I just want this bit to dry down here. I don't really want to put heat on it. Because it will lift the sticky underneath. I thought that was still wet there. Right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a load of water to it. My brush ain't clean, that's why I'm using my hand. Oh, that was a bit too much water. Do you know what? Try to give out fatter bits. see what that looks like these are my favorite inks for picking up 
water. Uh, picking the ink up with water, should I say. Look at that. I just love what it does. That's amazing. I want a bit more up here. Some bigger drops. Come on. Oh, I just love that, mate. And when you dry it, it bleaches it out even more. Right, I'm just going to put this one to the side, let it dry a little bit more. See what I mean about it lifting up? I mean, it could look all right, but... Take that back off. I'd rather it didn't, but if it does, it does. Right, I'll just put that to the side to dry a bit more. The second one, it's the third one. I'm going to use some brushes, I think. But this one, I think I'm just going to give it a, a pink. What do you think? I'll give it a couple of pinks. It doesn't have to be a love thing, it can just be, um, like I say, just because. I've just bought a dye that says just because. Let's give it a go. I'm a bit worried about this one. Do I blend it into a ombre or do I just... Well, I'm glad I didn't do it in red. And I kind of like that. So that one's nice and easy. Eh? I'm going to go into the darker. That's better. That'll look all right, I think, don't you? I mean, I've got a dye that says love. In fact, I might... Well, I'll do that one off screen because I ain't got it out. I don't even know where it is. Some of them have gone really dark. I quite like that. You don't want little ones. I kind of like that. So this panel's already cut down. I cut it down because if I put it through the dye machine, it will squash them out into the paper. Definitely. I'm just gonna wipe that off a bit and go back to the light one. That's blended nice. So I'm going to do the same and chuck water at it, see what happens. It's one of my favourite looks on um, ink when you put water on them. Now I'm not letting this one dry so I'm hoping it just, oh yeah I can see it picking it up already. that up and then see how it looks yes um tell you what we do need to do where's my bases
I need to go around the edges with the pink and I think I'll go with the I'm gonna go with the light pink I'll dry that off in a minute not a lot just literally because we're gonna have a panel there where's my panel So, yeah, you're literally just edging. I didn't want to use the pink cardstock because I wanted the colour to match. Plus, I want to throw water at it. I want it to have the same like mottled effect as the actual base uh, panel that'll do I don't want a load of it on So that will go on there. The white was to break it up and this will be splattered in white as well. Turn the wheel on. We'll move on to the last one right quick. Don't know if it's going to work but we're going for it. So I was very, very kindly donated all these. I have 12, but then all these came to me. I'm so lucky, I really am. But I picked the top three. Like I say, I don't know where this is going. The ones that I'm gonna use now are orange, dark brown, and burnt sienna. Because I just wanted it to have a an autumn-y kind of feel. So, I mean, I don't even know if this card stock will hold this amount of water. So we're just going with it. A little bit of brown, I think. Here goes nothing. <gasps> Still like that and I'm more than happy. I want it to stay like that. Get some, get it cleaned up. That's all I want to do. No idea what colour panel to do. Um, you know, like I've just done with the pink one. I'm going to try and dry this off a bit now. Well, I kind of like that. It worked anyway. It's lifting them up a bit because that got so wet I'm having to dry it a lot more. If it's squashed back down, it's not a problem. I won't torture it. What colour do I do my base? What about... What 
that terracotta. I nearly went with terracotta colour actually. I don't know. That's green. Oh, let me just pick up the red. We'll go with red. Comes in handy, doesn't it? We're going to be done on time and all. How about that? Oh, this is perfect colour for it. Lexi's downstairs and she's snoring so loud. I'm surprised neighbours aren't complaining. You have to let me know what you think of this idea. I think it's great. It's fun. And I think we need a bit of fun in crafting. I'll do. I don't know about wetting this one. Let's see. Right, that's all the wetting done. I'm nearly finished now, guys. The only thing I think I'll end up missing off is the sentiments. But I did do a couple just to show you anyway, because I got some new dyes this morning. I want to know what you thought, you know, to do them for a giveaway. it lifted right, a quick blast and then we'll put my bases and we're done I think that needed a bit more of a Right, here we go. All three I'm going to splatter with my white Windsor ink. I've been loving these. That might be better done in black. But we're going with white because they're all going on white bases. I haven't got my clean, what do you call it, brush. Here, but it needs the right good wash. Let's go for it. Do you know it's amazing what a bit of splatter does to a card? I love it on rainbow ones. Do you just love that effect? And the last one. This one definitely needs it to brighten it up. Definitely. And I think it'll look amazing. What a difference. It helped with my brush with him 
going at my place, won't it? There you go. All done. This is my worst thing to clean up, you know, is the splatter. So the first one, this is a dry version of it, and these are just some bits that I cut out. So I bought I bought these. So you've got Smile, I've already bought one of these and put it into the giveaway, just because that's by Honeybee. And two from Memory Box, Hello and Hello. It was time I got some new ones. I wanted some smaller Hellos. So, you could either go dark. Again, I'd cut these out and put the thingy out back so I can just stick them straight down. Or oh, especially if I'm going to layer them up. I just love this one though. I'll okay, kind of pick it up. Just because, and I'll probably put it on foam. Look how nice that looks, just like that. I love that. So that's what we're going to do with that one. I'm going to have to heat it up because I need them dry. What I should have done was spattered them once I put them on the base. I don't like heating it up with the splatter on because it seems to make it soak in. So I end up splattering more anyway. It's just that one dot there and I don't want to dab it up. There you go, it's done. So I'm going to stick it onto a white base. I'm just going to use this because of the time. Are we ready for it to run out? That's what we normally do. And this is an um, 80 pound white base, uh, white mat and layer. And it'd be nice if I put it on foam, wouldn't it? Black would have been nice on that, you know. I don't think I've got a black one, then I'll have a look. Is that pre-cut? Oh, it is as well. Let's try it on black. E. I'm going to have to put some black, um, what do you call it, Sam? Oh, I'll put some black bling on. And then it picks up the black in these. Yeah, I quite like that. Oh, the smile. Yeah, that looks nice. I might lay that up. Now, I'm going to go smile with that one. So that'll be that card. I'm not going to do it yet because I need to do the die cut and I might even pop it up, I don't know yet. So we'll do this one, definitely putting this one on white. That might actually just take that. Well, it's stuck to it, so that will be all right. Again, I think I'm going to pop it up and this will come with hello it'll either come with a hello or again it'll come with just because I'm looking at just because yeah it's going to come with just because in fact they, they might all come with that on let's have a look 
yeah I'm loving that so yeah there you go and I'll put a bit of bling on something different in it even to the side that looks nice but there you go it'll always be my favourite I think something different to do with your white uh, with your die cuts and ones that you haven't used for a long long time because you don't know what to do with them now you do right guys I can hear Andy whistling so it must be time to take the doggies out so I'm going to pop off are we we'll go find daddy and I'll catch you soon happy crafting bye bye